Well, it, it turns out <laughs> celebrities like Rob Lowe and Leonardo DiCaprio are doing it, so it's only natural that Richard would want to try to fly strapped to a water jetpack. All right, so let's just watch, take a minute to watch what happens here. Oh, oh, we saw a little bit of a crash here, but before it looked like, it looked like a lot of fun. Um, Richard's with us here. Richard, tell us what, what on earth are you doing here? What is this? I'm trying to stay in the air. It is by far and away the most fun I've had. I mean, basically, oh, yeah, that was painful. <laughs> basically, you, they, they control the water at the speed of the water on the ground, uh, on the, the shore, because otherwise it's too powerful. And it is the closest you'll ever get to flying because you literally are using your hands. It's literally flying. You're, the water's shooting out the back of the jetpack. You're steering yourself left and right. And if it all goes wrong, you go straight down into the water. How does it go wrong? Wait, how, how do you explain that? Because you've got two different controls there, right? Because if you pull the kill pin or you go head over heels, you will fall, the, the, the power stops. What is interesting about this is, this is the way in which it's about a $70,000 to $100,000 piece of equipment. I did it on the River Thames. Freezing. It, it was a nice day, but it was okay. chilly. Right. Chilly is the way I would describe it. It's not describe. known for its warm water. No, okay. no. And certain places like Hawaii, Honolulu, are looking at this with great concern because it's such a fast-growing enterprise. They say it can ruin the reef, all that churning up of the water. Mm -hmm. Other watercraft users hate the fact they get splashed because you're a thousand gallons a minute <laughs> coming straight out the back of the, these two hoses. And also, uh, don't forget, if you fall into the reef, you'll hurt yourself. Yeah, is, that, I, is that hose connected to anything? Yes, it basically, sorry, to those who are the uninitiated, <laughs> the jetpack has a hose, the hose is connected <laughs> to an unmanned watercraft on the water, which churns up the water, sends it up the hose, and you're sort of on the top. And you're sort of <laughs> steering back, yourself come, like come that. Back. And it really is an enormous <laughs> amount of fun. Because you just literally steer yourself around, and then you pull it and... <laughs> Did you go under the London Bridge? That's ridiculous. <laughs> bridge. No, but you're a thrill seeker, right? So how does this compare to the other things you did? Like it when is you like by got out far of and away better than water skiing, jet skiing. Uh, I loved it. I it was, but it's it's so expensive. It's about two hundred dollars an hour. This is expensive compared to all the other ones, but I loved it.